In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp messages when a new card is created in Trello. Now, we know that Trello is a project management software. Now, every time a new card is created here, so I want my admin to be updated about the same through WhatsApp message. How can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So, here your trigger application will be Trello and your action application here would be Interact which is helping you in sending WhatsApp messages. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now, we have two options, sign in and sign up. So, I am an existing user. I'm simply going to click on sign in. And if you are a new user, you can always sign up. So here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that every time a new task is created in Trello, then automatically a WhatsApp notification must be sent. So here I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp messages when a new card is added in Trello. Let's click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application will be Trello. So here it is. And the trigger event here would be new card. So I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Trello account. So let's click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the username, API key and token. And how can we get this for this? First, we have to log into our Trello account. And once done, this here is the hyperlink. So let's click on this. And as we do that, so first of all, here we have received the API key. So I'm going to quickly copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Then we need the token and the username. For this, we are going to click on this token hyperlink. Now, this here is our username. So I'm going to copy this and paste this over here. And then for the token, I'm going to click on allow. And this here is the token. So I'm going to quickly copy this. Go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save. So as I do that here, we can see that Trello cards is now connected with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have all the information. Now here we have to select the board and the list. So to understand this, I'm going to first take you to my Trello account. So this is my Trello account and here I have created various boards like blog space, daily tasks and reports and Moonstruck, security, etc. So let's say I'm going to work on daily tasks and reports. So this is the board and within this board we have various lists like daily task, working on monthly task. So let's say that I'm going to work on this particular list. The name is monthly task. So as I take you back to Pabli Connect, so first of all here, I'm going to select the board and now the list, which is monthly task. As I click on save and send test request here, we can see. So it is asking me to do a test submission so that the response can be captured here, which means that now I'm supposed to create a new card. For this, I'm going to take you back to Trello. Let's go to monthly task and here I'm going to click on add a card. So first of all, we have to enter a title for this card. So I'm just going to write demo card and now I'm going to click on add card. So now let's add the details. So I'm going to first of all, open the card and here the members. So I have added a member, then the label. So let's say that this is high priority, then the date. So when do you want? What is the due date? 17th of April. So I'm going to click on save and uh, let's say the description. So here I'm going to add demo description. Okay. So once I have written this, I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to close this. Let's go back to Pabli Connect. And yes, here we have received the API response. So this is the model name, which is monthly tasks. Basically, this is the name of the list. Then as I take you down, so here you can see this is the member of the creator's name. Then again, as we scroll down, so this is the name of the card. Okay, that we had just created and then this here is the board name. Now 
I have received the information, but I haven't received the card details. So for that, I am just going to choose a feature by Pabli, which is delay. Why? Because because the 12 action shoots as soon as you add the name of the card. So here, as I'm going to put a delay, so it is going to delay my workflow by the number of minutes or hours or days that I want. So here, let's say that I want to delay my workflow by one minute. So I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that the workflow is now delayed by a minute. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another action step and I'm going to choose the same application, which is Trello. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be this time I'm going to go down and I'm going to get the card details. So get a card by ID. So I'm going to click on connect. As I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Trello account. So I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Now I'm going to map here the card ID. How do I map? So as I click on this, it is showing me the previous steps. So I'm going to go to step one and here I'm going to look for the card ID. So this here is the action data card ID. I'm going to select this. Now the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and it is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we have received the response. And here you can see that I have received the details. So this here is the description. Then this here is the due date. And then here we have the priority. And this here is the name of the card. So now we have received the details. Once we have received this, what do I want? I want to send a message on WhatsApp to the admin talking about the new card details. So I'm going to choose the application interact because it helps in sending WhatsApp messages. And then the action application here would be to send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the interact account. Let's click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the secret key. So for this, I have already logged into my interact account and then I'm going to click on this hyperlink. So as I do that here, you can see that we have reached the developer settings page and this here is the secret key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. Now, once this is done, so here we have to enter the information. So if you have received the phone number in the previous step. So if let's say that you have received the complete number with the country code, you can just put it here. If you have received only the number, so you can manually enter the country code here and then map the phone number here. Now, right now I want to send a message to the admin. So here I do not have to map the data. I can just write it manually because this is going to be a static information. So here I'm going to enter the phone number plus nine one is the country code. This here is the complete phone number. Next is the template code name. Now the template code name. So I already have created a lot of WhatsApp templates. So let me show you the same by clicking on this hyperlink. So here in interact, you can see these are the WhatsApp templates. Now these are the active templates and I have recently created a template. The name is new card alert. Let me show you the same. So whenever you are creating a card, first of all, basically whenever you're creating a template, first you have to give it a name, then you have to select the category and then you have to specify the language. Then we have the header option. So you can either go for the text image video or document here. I have selected none. Next is the body. So here let's check the body that I have written. Hello, a new card has been created in Trello application. The details are this. So we have a card name. Then we have a number within double curly braces, description and due date, then another numbers within double curly braces. Now these numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message. And then it is thank you. So here we can see that if you want to add a photo, you can always do that. If you want to add call for action buttons, you can do that as well. I'm just going to leave this blank. And now for the template code, we have to go to the address bar. And this here is the template code. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. The next thing is language code. So since we have selected English, the code here will be EN. And then we have the header value. So we haven't selected any header. So this is going to remain blank. Now comes the body variables. So here we have to map three variables, the name of the card, description and due date. So first of all, the name of the card, how am I going to map this? I'm going to go to the step one and this as I take you down. So this here is the name of the card. Then I'll put a comma 
and what do I need here after the card name the description so for this I'm going to go to step 3 and then again as I take you down here so this is the description and then I need the due date again I'm going to go to step 3 I'm going to take you down and this here is the due date so once this is mapped then I'm going to leave this to blank because this is about the CTA button and we haven't selected any now I'm going to click on save and send test request and as I do that here you can see that we have received the API response according to which a whatsapp message must be sent now so let's go and check our whatsapp and yes here you can see that we have received a message a new card has been created in Trello application in these other details thank you so this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so I'm going to take you back to Trello and here I'm going to create another card so let's say the name of the card here is dummy card okay now I'm going to add some information over here let's open the card and here first of all I'm going to add description so it is just dummy description then I'm going to save this members selected and then the labels high priority then the dates let's say that the date is 30th of April and I'm going to click on save so once this is done and the card has been created what should happen automatically we should receive a message on whatsapp so now I'm going to take you to my whatsapp to check the same so here we are going to wait for the minute why because there was a delay of one minute so that we can collect the entire information from Trello so we are going to wait for the minute and then we would receive the response and yes here you can see that we have received another message a new card has been created in Trello application and this time the description is dummy description this is the dummy card and this here is the date which is 30th of April so our integration is a complete success now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is Trello where the event is new card then we had put a delay for the minute this is a feature by Pabli so that when our workflow is running I can receive the entire data and then we had action application Trello again where the event was to get the card details and finally our action application was interact which is used for sending whatsapp message the event here was send whatsapp template message so i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.